Easy work, baby. Yeah, man. Take a breath, take a breath, good breath. Yes, that's it. It's not your life, huh? It's yes, not sir. Your life, but your, your mind must be good. And don't underestimate them. Yes, sir. Like that. It's a different, different, different level. And you already tasted it, now we're gonna do it again. But we don't un underestimate them. Yes. He looks sharp. He is sharp, he looks sharp. He feels sharp, so we're gonna murder Friday. It's gonna be different than last time, but uh, 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 different is gonna then it must be faster. <laughs> faster is gonna be difficult, but doesn't matter what way it's gonna be good. So tell me the story of this tattoo. Yeah, it's my new tattoo. I decided like a few years ago, I'm not gonna do anything. But after my son uh, was born, and uh, I feel so attached to him that uh, I needed to, to do something to keep it next to my heart. So, you know, it's something that I don't know. It's really, you know, it's yeah. it's a hard feeling. It's always with me, even when I'm training camp, Chicago, everywhere. So Patrick is with me. So I, it's, it's a special thing. Yeah, it's one of the inspiration. He changed my life. Kickboxing and Patrick really changed my life. I have a strong story behind. So yeah, it's good, man. It's a good feeling. He tries to. He practices that shit, man. He practices. He, he's got to practice in the beer, you know. In the rain, he practices. Mr. Taylor? Yes, sir. You doing good? Oh, excellent, excellent. I'm excited to be here. Yeah? Yes, sir. 250 people receiving its dry goods, as well as meats and, you know, other uh, vegetables that they can take home and prepare for their families. Yes. Put this to the side and then you walk. Right here, you got, you got one bread today. Okay. Whatever one they want. One. And today, because that's all we have working today. Open hands. Thanks, thanks. We need y'all help in Chicago. We need all the help we can get. Thanks. I'm here today because we got a wonderful community now. It used to be such bad, but now it's so good. And what happened is we got almost 600 people's out here and they getting free food from the pantry which is i think is a beautiful thing because some people cannot afford food some people cannot afford shelter some people cannot afford homes so they out here getting this free food and it's kind of good for you know thanksgiving and christmas to have a pantry in a community because some people don't have resources that they can go to or have money that they can get out their pocket to buy Food. So we come here to the shelter to get the free food, which is a good thing from God. Yeah. Sasha's link. All right. We got pork over here as well. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. What else I get? You want a pork loin? Pork loin or over here? Pork sausage patties. I got, I got a bigger one over here. No, no, it don't have to be big. This is what I live for right here. Yeah. I love it. So what do you think of this when you see this? Helping out. What do I think of this? Yeah. I think this is a great opportunity to help out the community. Doesn't matter, it might not be my community, but everyone's got to eat. It's chicken right there. Is that me too? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to be working at St. Calabanas. My name is Merlin Jenkins. Man, it's a, they're doing a great thing out here, man. Like, this is uh, a... <laughs> I'll break it for you. It's a great thing that they're doing out here, man, for the community. Um, and to be a part of it, helping out, is a great thing for me because, you know, some of us come from backgrounds similar to this. So, I mean, it's great to, you know, help out where we can. Yeah. Do you have this thing where you're from? Uh, Probably not as bad, but definitely, you know, had to struggle to find food here and there, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just great to come out. There you go, right there. Thank you, That's sir. that good stuff. Yeah. Thank you. All right, bro. Thank you, baby. But I think, I think it's a blessing. You know, you have all these people volunteering out here, giving back. You got a line with over 200 people, and people are just volunteering, giving back, and they do this every week. It's amazing. It's a blessing, and I'm happy to be here today. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know these things, these situations from your neighborhood. Where yes, from? I, when I grew up, you know, there was times when we had to stand in line to get food. You know, and um, we made it out the hood, and I'm here to give back and support them. Got the carbohydrates, potatoes. 
And these peppers are spicy. Oh, I have some at home. How's it going, Nick? Yes, sir. How's it going? Good. It's going great. Yeah. Lots of fun, yeah. Very good. What do you think of this? This is wonderful. It's a, it's a great thing to, uh, that Glory's doing this. Give me the green one, because I don't want it to go bad. There you go. Thank you. I don't want to waste food. This is, how I, this is how I go grocery shopping. I go once a week, and I come to the pantry. And it helps me out, because I don't get food stamps or anything like that. So I got to come. Did you know that I can chug a Woo. Oh. Sir, you yeah. down there with your the, uh, pepper. Hey guys. Hello. Oh man. Yeah, I come from a family with seven kids. I have, I'm number six out of seven, so I have you know, a bunch of older siblings and one little brother. So my older brother is beating me up a lot. So I wanted to fight. So um, I joined karate, and karate was good, learning, learning stuff, learning how to fight, staying out of trouble, and it helped out with school. Here I am now, trying to make a difference. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to be fighting for the world title. Um, I was born and raised in the projects. Um, I got into a lot of trouble. My family, we were poor, we didn't have much, you know. Outside right now, they're giving back, you know. I remember when I was young, I used to sit in lines with my parents and uh, get food and everything. It's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just when you get older, you, you know, you got to think to yourself, you know, do you want to work hard? You know, or do you want to live that, you know, struggle? Education is very important. You guys have to stay in school. You have to get the education. I'm number one in, in uh, the USA right now in kickboxing. And, um, you know, hopefully one day I'll be number one in the world. I mean, if you have a brother in your life or a family member in your life that y'all can bounce stuff off of each other and respect each other and keep each other out of trouble, that'll take you really far. Um, we both got into fighting at the same time because we played football in college got out of college and just noticed we were just kind of fat guys. Just fat guys now, just out of college. So we found a gym, started training there, and um, the rest is kind of history. <laughs> How many fights have you lost? We've been knocked down a few times. Um, we took a few losses, but it's about us getting back up and continuing the fight and not giving up. You all have signatures. Very good question. Yeah. But yeah, I have two signature moves. It's called a spinning back fist. It's, it's really quick. Um, I got my opponent right here and I just whoop, hit him with a spinning back fist. Fly him. My, uh, my next one is the knee. My knees, I sharpen them every night before I go to bed. I take my knees and I just drive it right through it. thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. And we pray especially for those who will be fighting this weekend. We ask you to send your blessings upon them. We ask you to keep them safe, to give them the energy that they need, to give them the fight that they need. And so we ask you, Lord, to bless them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Today was a lot of fun, man, uh, seeing the church, helping out the community, um, talking to the kids. It was a great experience, uh, very humbling. Uh, so today was a great experience, helping out the less fortunate. Um, I like doing it in all different cities and, and states. It gets you a real taste on life and how tough it really is. Today was an amazing opportunity given to us by Glory Kickboxing, and I got invited out by my buddy Kevin. Um, you know, you take nothing for granted in life. Uh, appreciate everything and remain humble.